straight out of the pages of your Sunday Comic Weekly comes Blake Diamond, Jungle Adventurer. He wears the typical garb for the Jungle Explorer, with his 45 automatic raised finger on the trigger, ready for danger. Which is unfortunate since he's currently standing in the middle of the New York Museum of Art. He's got a gun! Um, Blake, while we appreciate the fine work you do obtaining priceless artifacts for the museum, we'd rather you didn't point your gun at the patrons. Sorry, it's sometimes hard to make the transition back to the States. Here she is. The ancient stone of Maragutu. It was being held by a modern-day Maragutu tribe in Australia. They have a superstition that the stone has been keeping them alive for over a thousand years. How did you get out of there in one piece? Sneaking into the camp was tricky, but after I grabbed the stone, I turned around and the camp was deserted. I guess they all went off to hunt or something. Lucky break. He still got a gun! Maybe we should step away from the patrons. The museum has a new job for you. There's a monk living in a Vienna monastery named Brother Solomon. And you want me to murder this monk? I don't know who you think you've hired, but you've got the wrong guy. No, we don't want you to murder- Though I suppose if $1,000 were to appear on my doorstep tomorrow- no. no, really, we don't want you to kill anyone. Our information tells us the monk has King Tatachi's ruby. I thought King Tatachi's ruby was pure legend. We believe it's real. Furthermore, we believe it belongs to the people, not locked away in a monastery. More specifically, we believe it belongs to this museum in time for our fall collection. Fine, I'll book a flight to England. Once there, I'll sneak across the border into Austria. Guten Tag. I am your English steward, Bruno. How are you enjoying your English flight to the England? Fine, thank you. Would you like me to bring you a crumpet or a tea? Not right now. Well, let me know if you need anything. England. I'm having trouble placing that accent. What part of England are you from? Um, the English part. You know what I think? I don't think you're from England. I think you're from Germany. Ah, please, I was born in Germany, but I'm a British citizen now. Nazi lies! Sorry, you're not allowed in the cockpit. Shut up, Nazi! Sorry about the ruckus, folks. This so-called flight to England had been overrun by Nazis. Who knows where we were really headed? Anyway, to make up for lost time, I'm going to have to fly directly to Nazi-occupied Austria. I hope this doesn't inconvenience anyone. Well, look who's here to greet me at the airport. None other than Agent Nigel Leed of the British Secret Service. Um, Blake, Austria is currently being occupied by the Nazis. It would be rather bad if they knew I worked for MI6. Gotcha. Why, look who's here to greet me. None other than Agent Lepage of the French Secret Service. Uh, yes, much better. Here, let me give you a lift to your hotel. Am I supposed to believe you came all this way to offer me a ride? No, you're spot on as usual, Blake. Our sources tell us you're here after King Tatachi's ruby. What you might not know is that the ruby contains an ancient, mystical power. He who holds the ruby in his hand becomes an unstoppable one-man army. Am I supposed to believe you came all this way to tell me that? This monk, this Brother Solomon, is a megalomaniac bent on world domination. We must stop him before he discovers the ancient incantation that will unleash the ruby's dark power. Fine. I'll go to the monastery tonight and we'll see how tough this monk really is. All right, Brother Solomon, put your hands up and step away from that safe. Now let's see what we have. Hey, there's no ruby in here. There's just a piece of paper. All right, where's the ruby? Talk, monk! So, you're gonna play it that way, eh? Three hours later. You're made of stern stuff. I'll be back later after I put some ice on my knuckles. Diamond leaves and meets up with Agent Leed in his hotel room. So no sign of the ruby? No, there was just this piece of paper. I can't make heads or tails of it. Let me take a look. Hmm. What? Well, if you look at it from a certain angle, I think this could almost be a map. A map? What makes you say that? You see these vertical lines? I think they might represent longitude. And these horizontal lines might very well be latitude. Fascinating. Also, these dots here with names underneath them like Salzburg and Innsbruck, I believe these represent Austrian cities. And this blue line here labeled Danube might very well refer to the Danube River. What about these words here, Rand McNally? I believe they printed the map. What about these pen markings? The dotted line leading to an X with the word ruby underneath. Three hours later. I could be mistaken, but I believe what you have here is a map to finding King Tatachi's ruby. In other words, I acted too soon. Clearly, the best course of action now is to give the map back to the monk, wait for him to get the ruby, and then steal it from his safe. One hour later. Or perhaps we could use this map to find the ruby ourselves. Hmm, that sounds like a better plan. Let's get going. 
Unbeknownst to Diamond and Lead, the evil brother Solomon is watching them from outside their window. Since the monk can't talk, there's no way for us to dramatize this, but trust me, he's there! And with him are a couple of Nazi soldiers, who unfortunately aren't speaking right now. What dangers lurk in the silence for Diamond and Lead? Find out in the next exciting chapter of Blake Diamond, Jungle Adventurer! Two Minute Danger Theater is written and produced by MJ Butler, starring George Barker Barrett III, Curtis Eames, Ryan Thomas Johnson, and me, I'm shy around squirrels.